Okay, so uh, there's a rare article up on LinkedIn that I've written, and this was inspired really by some of the stuff that's going on with regards to AI music composition. And it was just some feelings really after, you know, experiencing some of these tools and their capabilities, which quite frankly are phenomenal. And their ability to, from a text prompt, create something that is um, realistic sounding, you know, and this is not just from the, the compositional aspect, i.e. The, the lyrics, the melody. It's also from the performance aspect as well. So the, vo the voices, these kind of human voices that are generated are so incredibly realistic and, you know, so full of performance and personality, you know, so anybody now can make music. And that brings a whole heap of interesting um kind of scenarios and you know i think what it's doing is democratizing the process of making music but in a way that i don't think we ever really considered as music makers you know we've seen tools come along that make make our lives easier you know, for example something like ableton live with a chord device where you can play one finger and it will create several notes at the same time so you can create chord progressions that's an assistive technology um you know other tools like some of the native instruments products like session bass um the fact that you can push a key and then what it does is it will play back a riff a bass line that somebody else has played in so these are assistive technologies for composition but these ai tools products do everything you know so they create every aspect you know the bass line the texture of the bass, you know, the sound of it, the performance, the personality, the keyboards, the strings, everything is rendered in such incredible detail. And whilst the fidelity may not be up to the level of professionally mixed and mastered tracks, it's still listenable. And so you've got the ability for anybody to make music. They can type some text, some music comes back. So what does that mean for those of us who make music, um, you know, and for the industry? I think it's a very, very deep subject. Not enough time to go into that in, in this particular video, but um, just really some thoughts. If algorithms are trained on existing styles of music, then surely as human beings, it's our opportunity to innovate and to try to come out with stuff that the algorithm hasn't learned yet. And so in a way we might be playing this game of catch up where new styles and genres are created by the humans and then the algorithms are trained on those new styles. So it means maybe, just maybe, we're gonna see some incredibly interesting new genres coming along. You know, for me, I've always wanted to see, I don't know, the new punk or the new drummer bass, the new dubstep. In some respects, we've had styles that have remained reasonably stagnant but the optimist in me thinks that maybe we can start to see new genres and styles that come out that humans are creating deliberately in a way to challenge these algorithms. And who knows, it could be different ways of performing, different ways of phrasing things, um, different rhythmic methods. I mean, you know how in rap, the triplet has been very popular. So maybe different ways of pronouncing um, you know, rhythmically performing syllables. I have no idea. So there's lots of scope for humans to really start innovating and coming out with new stuff. And then maybe the the AI side catches up after. Then equally, the other thing that I wrote about was the, um, the idea that maybe for some of us, AI assistants, you know, like kind of AI band members um, might be the kind of thing that could be really useful, you know, in live gigs and scenarios. Um, performances. I do think that what we're going to see is performance is going to become even more important. And I did do a video about this a while back. You know, performance and personality is really important because if you imagine that algorithms can generate music, that anybody can generate music, it's actually the performance that's missing. So live performance, I do think will continue to be really important or some degree of live performance. And maybe AI assistance could be part of that process. I don't know. I mean, look, it's incredibly interesting. Um, I would always try to seek an optimistic path through these kind of developments. But equally, there's an aspect for me that feels quite frightening now. It's got to such a high quality now. It will cause repercussions that there is no doubt. 
and some people are probably going to give up you know music producers are like what's the point um but i would suggest that really there is a point you know because you know there is the the whole creative process you know it's an enjoyable process for some people so you know maybe it's in the the process that's really important to everybody it's like painting yes you can go and look at some paintings in a gallery which are exceptional but actually to be able to paint is a a beneficial experience you know so maybe that's what it will become who knows i'm really interested to see what people think um please put down comments if you have into the video and if you are on linkedin you can go and take a look um at the article